Welcome guys. So a bit close there, but uh, we're here for a 1500 point game at Granger's house. Uh, we've got some Eladari, 1500 points worth. Granger's own chapter. I've forgotten what chapter tactics he's taking, Yemlock. but it'll be out of town. Yemlock, that's the one. And he's going to be versing a Imperial mashup of Adeptus Serratis, commonly known as Sisters of Battle, and the Crimson Fist Adeptus Astartes, commonly known as Crimson Fist Space Marines. I am going to be using the new chapter tactics from the White Dwarf to see if they're any good. I do quite like the chapter tactics already of ignoring cover. So if this one is alright, then I might take it. But I'll be honest with you, if you see my selection, there's reasons why some of my units are so small. We're going to be playing uh, Cut Off the Head, I believe it's called, from the um, Chapter Approved 2018 book, which will be quite interesting. Um, we'll secretly write down which guys is going to be having the uh, the actual points, allowing them to be able to scuttle forward and try and... Uh, you've got to get to an objective in the centre. Now, the objective that we've got for the centre is going to be a Gretchen runner, because we've got nothing that represents a computer at Granger's house. And I am limited back to my Blood Angel dice. They always seem to do well when I use them on the channel. Mm. Right, okay, so let's take you to some armies. As you can see, this is a new format to start the actual game with, so we're going to be taking you to some armies. Uh, I'll take you across to my guys first. So this is 1,500 points worth of uh, Sisters of Battle plus Space Marines, all with the new points values. So starting with the Sisters, I know it's a small force. I don't have much at the moment. I am waiting for some plastics to come out. Yay, plastics! Right, so they are going to be, it's a patrol detachment, it is going to be my wall, it is going to be my warlord detachment, so the canoness is going to be war, is the warlord, and she's got the book of St. Lucius, she's also got the warlord trait, I believe it's indomitable faith, allowing an extra plus one to my guy's invulnerable saves, if within six inch, and of course the book means that increases to nine. Uh, I've got a dominion squad, which has got three stone, sorry, four stone bolters in there. And three normal bolters. The one holding, pulling the pin out of the grenade is the sergeant. I've got a unit of 11 uh, with the relic banner. Uh, I can't remember what it's called because it's very long-winded. A flamer and a power sword plus bolt pistol on the sergeant. And this unit here has got a chain sword plus plasma pistol on the sergeant. A melter gun and another relic as well. So in total, that will give me 11, 22... 30 space, 30 sisters of battle, which will give me an additional three faith points. Over to the space marines. Um, due to the fact that these guys have dropped in at tremendous points, this is going to be a standard battalion. I've got my centurion devastators, usual loadout, all rockets in the chest, two last cannons, four heavy bolters. And again, another price drop on certain units. Stern guard. So we've got a unit of 10. Power Fist on the Sergeant, two Heavy Bolters in that squad there. I think that's quite fitted for Crimson Fists. Troops-wise, we've got a unit of Primaris Intercessors, another unit of Primaris Intercessors, and a unit of Scouts with Bolters and Heavy Bolter. We've also got a unit of Primaris Interceptors, I believe that's what they are. Uh, just standard with the uh, Bolt Storm Gauntlet or whatever, the Bolt the Storm Bolter or whatever it is that they've actually got. The Primaris uh, Apothecary, we've got a Primaris Ancient. That's uh, going to be uh, spending another command point to have an additional relic. So he'll be having the relic, the Ancient Standard Relic from the Space Marine book. A Primaris Captain, just with a Bolter. And a Primaris Lieutenant with a Power Sword. Now I am going to be upgrading that detachment to Indomitus Crusaders. Which you'll be able to find in the, I think it's the Vigilus book. And both those two units, I'm spending another command point on each to upgrade them to Veterans. So they're going to have three attacks apiece. What? Yeah. And they have the ability to be able to take hold of some of a special, um, a couple of different stratagems. Um, so that's it. Uh, no, it's only a foot slogging army, which, uh, in hindsight, maybe I should have taken a different uh, a different army there. 
Um, but uh, let's take you across to Granger's Force. Get in, you know. So this is 1500 points of Eldar. Grange, do you want to let us know what you've got? All right, we've got a Battalion and an Outriders. Yeah. So we'll start with the Battalion, two yeah. HQs. We have an Avatar as my Warlord. Yeah. I know, you think it's dirty in a 1500 point list. Uh, his Warlord trait is going to be Falcon Swiftness, so yeah. plus two to his movement. Then I've got a Windrider Farseer. Yeah. Uh, power is, so he's yeah, Witch Blade and just all the same. Uh, powers are going to be Doom and Guide. Yep. Uh, troops choices. Yep. Uh, 19 Guardians. 19? Yeah. yeah. I'm guessing that's a point. Point squad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then 10 Dire Avengers. Yeah. He's got uh, Dire of Sword and Shock and Pistol. And yeah. then 5 Rangers. No problem. A uh, couple of elites in there, which we've got six striking scorpions, yeah. and one, well, and then an exarch in there. Yeah. Uh, so exarch's got scorpion fist, and then ten uh, howling banshees. Yep. Yeah. And the exarch's got uh, the executioner. Okay. Well, it's not an executioner, but it is an executioner. Yeah, it's an executioner. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, on there we've got a wave serpent yeah. with twin bright lancers and a shuriken cannon. Yep. Yeah. And then a falcon with just a scatter laser and his pulse laser. Yeah, and shuriken catapults yeah. underneath. And then the outriders. Yep. Yeah. We've got an otak. Yep. Yeah. He's got his uh, future pistol and just a power sword. Okay. Five wind riders. Yep. Yeah. One viper. Yep. With a bright lance and another viper with a bright lance. So two vipers, bright lances. You got five guys. It's not a bad army. That for fifteen hundred points. Um, new points as well for these guys. So battlefield is going to be seek and destroy as mentioned. I'm going to be in this quadrant. Grange is going to be deployed in that quadrant. I won the roll off. So Grange has to set up going to the mission his entire army first. And he gets a choice then of having first or second turn. If he takes first turn, I then get a chance to seize. Hmm. And, of course, because it's chapter approved 2018, none of the beta rules got... Well, some of them did, some of them are erratas. But because, of course, the deep strike rule did not enter the book, we are able, if we want to, to deep strike outside our deployment zone on turn one. Which the seek and destroy will actually give us plenty of options to do so. Right then, sir, let's uh, start getting set up. We'll take you guys straight into uh, rolling to see who gets first turn. So deployment wise, I've got my marines clustered around here, ish. <laughs> uh, we've got the uh, intercessors and half of the uh, stern guard down this side, and the other half of the stern guard down here. The scouts have used their infiltrate ability to be able to deploy anywhere that's nine inch outside of Granger's deployment zone. And of course, these guys have all deployed, possibly, well, in line of sight, hopefully line of sight blocking train pieces. But the sisters, they are the Madheads, so they are going first. Because <laughs> they are the Zealots. Now, Granger does need to put down his Rangers, Ooh. which can now be deployed anywhere, which I believe is uh, not within nine inches. Oh, it's going on. Now we're nine inches of any enemy units. Right. Are you going over there, sir? It's going to be on there, Paul. Right, not long. And these guys are down. So, Grange, are you having first turn? You know what? I'm torn. I'm genuinely torn. You kind of need me to move closer, don't you? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to let the guys, dice gods decide. You're going to let the dice gods decide? What yeah, are you I'm, going for? I am that. One, two, and three. Yep. You're going first. Okay. No, so the dice gods say that you should go first. Right, very, very well. Let's see what my dice god says. It says no. <laughs> <laughs> it says no, let Grange go first. So, we're going to be going into turn one, and it will be Eladari first to go. So Granger's moved quite a few units forward. These guys have all didn't get a lot of running abilities for his rangers, so um, they've kind of shimmied a little bit, trying to block themselves from potential line of sight, especially from Centurion Devastators. So what are you firing with first then, Grange? Oh, we're going to some Psychic first. Oh yeah, good yeah. point, Psychic first, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, the, yeah. 
Um, I don't know what can shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've, have I left anything within line of sight? I don't know, mate. I think I've got to move to be able to get line of sight on you. I think these guys may have line of sight to these sisters here. Well, I'm not sure. Right, I'm going to put Doom on to... Uh, not Doom, I'm going to give Guide to me Snipers. Guide to Snipers. He's going to need nine. a seven. He's got nine. So they are now guided. And then... And what's your second power, Doom, is it? Do which I don't think I've got anything with. No, I haven't. I've got nothing with inside. No, in, and he can't smite either. Yeah, yeah. So it's very good. Excellent. Right, right, okay, let's get on to your shooting phase. Right then, Grange, what are you going to shoot with first? Right, we'll start with the guided yep. rangers. Two, uh, three of them are going to fire into the cannoness. Oh, uh, yep. Two of yep, them. measured rangers already. Into the Sisters of Battle. Right, which one's other. first and so? So, cannoness. Yep. All hit. All hit. She's toughness three. So she's wounded three times, and she's got a mortal wound against her. She does have power armor, so it's three up. She fails one, because unfortunately the Elder symbol is a one on these dice. So she loses two wounds, she's down to three. Two against the Silver Sisters. Both hit. hit. Two wounds, meaning uh, twos, because they're an inch behind the barricade. Oh, wicked. So I lose a sister as well. Right. <laughs> no, I'll be two seconds. I'll yep. you right, so that's the snipers gone. What's your next unit then, sir? Uh, well, first, first Viper. Yep. It's got range the, of these guys, yeah. no problem. That's a miss. Um, uh, you but are within, within six of your... Yes, you are allowed I'll to re-roll that. It is a four, because yep. it's a heavy weapon. Yep, so, so it's a hit. hit. Twos. And we've wounded. wounded. Um, normally it wouldn't be a save because of minus four, but Shield of Faith means it's a six, and her Warlord trait within nine means it's going to be a five. That's a one. That's another. Those, these dice are amazing. <laughs> so that's two sisters gone so far. Are you rinse and repeat, eh? Yeah, rinse and repeat with the other Viper. Okay. It's a miss. miss. Right. Right. Uh, the only other thing that can see anything yep. is the uh, Falcon. Falcon. So the scatter laser, the pulse laser is going to go into the intercessors. Yep, we've already uh, checked, got line of sight. And the scatter laser is going to go into the sisters of battle. No right, problem. Which one first? Uh, we'll do the scatter laser first. Scatter laser. Needing fours. Re rolling ones. No ones. Lots of twos. Needs twos to wound. Twos again. No uh, modifiers. No modifiers, but plus one. Two saves. And then the pulse laser. Pulse laser. Two Which shots. Gonna hurt. Hit ones, ones. Three or the one. Two hits. He's gonna need twos. Strength face, and it causes three damage. So minus of three. So the marines need a six plus one for the cover. That's a five. And a save one, lose one. So far, I've rolled multiple ones on these lovely dice. So one of these lads go down. Um, am I within six of him? Nope, right, so I checked, he is within six of the banner, but could not see anything. So line of sight not. blocking terrain, everyone yeah. raves about it. Everyone keeps talking about line of sight blocking terrain. A lot of my line of sight blocking terrain has holes in it, so it's not line of sight blocking terrain, mm -hmm. but there we go. So yeah, lost the primary synthesizer. Uh, any more for any more there, Granger? Is no, that end of your turn one? actually the end of my turn one. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Right, so... End of Granger's turn one so far, he's managed to cause one casualty to each of the sisters' unit and one casualty to the Primaris squad. So far, that's no morale. So, we're going to go into Crimson Fist turn one. Okay, right, very difficult in moving here. I've had to use an act of faith to shift them up nine. They're still within nine inches of a cannon S, but it's very difficult because there's a Great. The way Grain just set up this terrain, it's very line of sight blocky. Like, literally line of sight blocky. So, these guys have got some shots off possibly down at the Dire Avengers. I've had to run these guys up to get some shots off at the Dire Avengers. These guys can be seen by this unit and this unit alone. <laughs> Nobody else on the floor has line of sight to vote that squad there. It's a very good terrain setup. So, and then of course these guys are going to be able to try and cream all of the V's. So, I've got my dice. First unit to fire. It's going to be these guys. They're going to fire at the Avengers. Now, they get plus one because I need to be, if I'm firing at something that's got twice as many models as me, I get a plus one to hit. But, I've also got a minus one to hit because I ran. So, here's the assault bolters. Needing threes. 
Mmm. Need to freeze again. Wow. That, that was a fail as well. That wasn't as good as what I wanted. Oh yeah, in my um, in my movement phase, this guy came back. And the apothecary. So we've got four, eight saves. It's a minus one, but comes in face no longer ignore cover. So we've got a plus one as well. So four, ups. four ups. Mm. Loses two. That was terrible. And it takes away the closest ones from <laughs> So this unit then of Stern Guard is gonna open up because that's, they're the only target left and the only thing that's gonna be in range now is my heavy bolter. So I've got 10 men. How many men do you have left in that squad there, Grange? Uh, that'll be eight. Eight, so I don't get a plus one to hit, so I need fours. So one hit with the heavy bolter, need a three. It's a three, so it's a plus one minus one. And he takes down another Eldar. Actually, some of these can see them Dire Avengers down there, some of these sisters, so I'll have a look at that in a minute. Right. So a little, um, we've gone and done a little bit. Some of these sisters could actually see the Dire Avengers over there. Didn't do anything. Um, these lads have opened fire on the bikes, managed to kill one of them. And now I'm going to use the Centurion devs they're going to open fire upon the Guardians. Now, Granger's used the command point, meaning he's down to eight for Celestial, Celestial Seal Shield. Shield. Because I'm plusing one to this, and I'm within six inch of my captain. So I need twos to hit with rerolls. And Granger's is wincing, but when you verse his, uh, his Imperial Guard, and they're rerolling everything. I mean, not everything, just most things. Right. That is, every single one of them hit the, these dice are for the missiles. So they're going to be twos, uh, whereas they're going to be threes. And so that's a good good reason why he's put Celestial Shield on. I can't pick them up. As if by magic I picked them up. So I need threes and twos on the clears. That's going to be a lot of wounds, that Grange. That's five, ten... That's 15 wounds on the Guardian squad. Did I say I was drinking? <laughs> Actually, technically, yeah, you did. Command <laughs> point, so let's Forced to save. One gone, two gone, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 That's not bad, actually, because, mm. yeah, 50 50 says that at least seven to eight would actually disappear. So, he's taken from the back. It's going to be a bad morale test. No, it ain't. I'm stood next to an avatar. Oh yeah, so he's fearless. <laughs> I didn't realise, I forgot the avatar, we're around that corner actually. Yeah. It's a bit of a bugger. And then we've got a twin lit last cannon coming into them. Might as well fire out because you can't see what else. Two hits, two's to wound, two wounds. So two celestial shield saves of four plus. And yeah, another does. one goes down. Right. Now it's these lads. So these guys are going to open fire upon these. It's minus one to hit for Chameleon Cloaks. So I need fours. And I didn't move the Heavy Bolter. So the Heavy Bolter is in the Blood Angel dice. Keep thinking them Elder Symbols are a six. <laughs> now I need freeze and I need freeze on both. So one of the bolters have got through, which is a minus two. He's plus in two because he's in cover, so effectively that takes him down to a five. So he's on a three plus, that takes him down to five, and that takes him down to four. So one save of five, and two saves of four plus, sir. One save of five. Yep. 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 <laughs> one goes. Your root stem dice are a lot better here than we do at club. <laughs> right. On to these girls. Right, so next up is going to be the sisters. This is the last unit for me to fire. They're going to fire up that tank. Now, I'm going to overcharge the plasma pistol. We're going to melt the gun and I'm chucking a crack grenade. So, I do get a reroll once because I am within six, uh, nine inches of my thingy, but I did cast a faith point to try and plus one to hit and roll the one. So, I've done very successful. Plasma, it's a hit. It needs, because I've overcharged it, it needs a three. It's wounded. So, it's a minus of three. Granger's going to need a six. No. No, so that's two damage. Uh, and he's got spirit stones. It's one damage. So one point so far. Crack grenade. Can't 
can't see what that was. It's a hit. He's a five and six. It's got a five. It's a minus of one on a crack grenade. Uh -huh. Rangers roll a one. It's a D3 damage. It's free damage. Spirit stones. For none of them. None of them. That's because you had three dice in your hand then. Yes. <laughs> A compa the dice, a dice, compa yeah, the play. dice gods, right. Melter gun. It hits. It doesn't wound. Command point. It does wound. Minus of four. Right. So. Damage. <laughs> it's going to be, it's not within 12, so it's a standard D6. Five wounds. Spirit stoned one of them. Another She's one. lost another four. So what's he down to so far? Four left. Four left and I've got my bolters to go. Right, I've opened fire. I've actually caused seven wounds to this. So Granger's got his free up armour. That's free. Then he's got four wounds left and then he's got his spirit. So for none. So for none. One. So it's down to one wound. That is ridiculous. Right, so going into the end of this particular turn, I'm charging. And those sisters are charging that tank. Would you wish to overwatch, sir? Yes. Okay. Um, so, scatter laser. Scatter laser. Nothing. We roll once within six no. inch of your uh, uh, shark. Still nothing. And then choking catapults. Yep. Four shots. You got a hit. Got a hit. You can freeze. Doesn't do anything. No. And then your pulse, bright light. Your, pulse yeah, laser. pulse laser. Oh, you got a hit with a bone. Roll that again. <laughs> Two hits with, hits the, with the pulse laser. Both Two wounds. wounds. Shield of faith within nine. Need fives. Both saved. Wow. That was impressive. That was very impressive for the sisters. And then an eight inch charge. I thought we are going to fluff that then. Right. These guys have mullered in. I've done my free inch consolidation. And I didn't lose any from Overwatch as you saw. So this amount of attacks. Needing fours. I am no longer within range of my lady, so I am not going to get reroll ones. Five to wound. Right, so we've got one, only two. Oh, three. Three. Three wounds. That was a five. Three wounds. Oh, it doesn't matter. Three wounds, then, good sir. Two. We've got two fails. Grange needs a double six to make sure this vehicle doesn't die. Oh! Right, do we go kaboom? No. That's a four. So, no. Take it off, and then I'll consolidate. <clears throat> so they've moved forward as best they can. The striking scorpions made sure that they're outside of a three inch, but I did manage to contact the Dire Avengers. So that means that the Dire Avengers get a chance to fight. So, Grange, um, move them in. So, six normal guys. Needing freeze. And he gets to re-roll his ones, because I believe, let's double check, I think you're within six of your guy. Rerolling his ones. Yeah. Yep. He needs fours. Mm. Two so far. Two. Two. And then he's got his dire sword as well, which is two attacks. Oh. <laughs> Ranger's dice is doing well. Uh. Both survive. So. The sisters barrel in, take out that particular vehicle. That's first blood, well, first unit, because if you kill a unit in the first round of the game, you get a point. So, so far, I would be on one point to Granger's zero. I'll be honest, at the start of the second battle round, nobody's got anybody within three inch of the uh, gobble. So there'll be no message ferrying <laughs> of any kind. Um... Yeah, it's going to be entering Granger's turn two. He's not, we've not suffered a lot of casualties, Ivan, as I'll be honest. Yeah, I've taken out a tank, but I'm now getting within optimum prime range for shooting. And he does have eight command points left. And he's, I'll be honest, Elder's got some very nice tricks up their sleeve. Uh, stuff allowing them to fall back and shoot and all sorts. So, let's see what the M-Lock can do in turn two.
Right, so Grange has shifted a lot of guys up here, still trying to remain out of line of sight if you possibly can. These have used matchless agility. They have just ploughed straight forward. They're probably going to try and tie up as many units as possible. And the Guardians have moved forward as well, possibly either trying to get a charge off, possibly that I can't see. And the Wave Serpent has moved round the corner. The Avatar has decided to bravely move forward. This is going to hurt. Right. <laughs> Psychic phrase then, sir, what are you doing first? Right, we'll start with a spot of doomage. Doomage? I'm guessing on the sisters. No, I don't think I am. I'm oh, okay. try to get your jumpy dudes. Okay, jumpy dudes. So, yep. give it in range. Psychus. So, that's a success. That's so a success. they are doomed. So they are doomed. And then Gid. He's going to guide. I'm going to guide the jet bikes. I'm going to guide the jets. I'm going to use his that's little... fail, yeah, so he's going to use his special power. Yep, yeah, the helm thing. Yep, yeah, and yeah. that's a pass. So they're guided, and they're doomed. And so they're guided, and they're doomed. So, so Grange, you're going to start with the wave serpent, yeah? Yeah, wave serpent's going to fire everything into the jumpy juice. Everything into the jumpy juice. So twin bright lance and the shuriken cannon, which one's firing first? Twin brights. No props. One hit. Needs a three because I'm touching five. But they're doomed. Ah, they are doomed, yes. And still yeah. not done anything. <laughs> uh, oh. Shuriken cannon, which needs threes. So one wow. hit. Your dice are amazing today. <laughs> For the love of God. <laughs> hey! And it's a minus three at that, isn't it? Yeah. So it's going to be a six. Have another go. <laughs> it's a five, so therefore they're going to lose one more. The three guardians that are in range of the sisters are going to open fire. He needs uh, freeze. Jesus. Yeah, it's uh, doing, uh, doing well. It's not, playing, to wound. not playing fair with me at the minute, freeze is it? Freeze to wound. Uh, one, six. Got one six and one three. Yeah. So one armor saver two plus. And then one armor saver five plus. Which is a one. So that's one of the sisters has gone down. Any more for any more? Yeah, we're going to put the Dire, dire Avengers yep. into there as well. So no I'm going to throw a grenade, plasma grenade from the second. No problem. So plasma grenade has got six shots. Oh, Christ. Needing freeze, re rolling ones. No, no. No, he's not, no, within, not within range of him. So. Increase. Now it's strength for four minus of one plasma grenade. So it wounds three of them. So I need fours. Nope. I need threes because I'm in cover. Oh my god. Oh dear. So I lose another three sisters. And then the shuriken catapults. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. So that's 12 shots. Six guys left. Still need him freeze. This is where I like being Beltan, where it's like, oh yeah, I'll just re-roll them ones. Uh, so no sixes, just another five wounds. Another five wounds. And that's another two gone down. So I've lost another five. No, oh, okay. Huh? Twos. Oh yes, yeah, because there's no no minus. Yeah. Sorry, apologies. Yeah. Apologize. Brilliant. Right, okay, two. Unit. Right, so the jet bikes are opening fire at the scouts. We've checked that all within 12 inches. It's going to be four shots apiece. Here we go. And they are within six of the captain, but he's also guided them. So they're going to re-roll everything. Needing freeze. And it's always typical when you guide something, you barely instantly, roll any. Instantly yeah. become lethal. Yeah, you barely roll any fails. There we go, we've missed once. Yep, needing fours. Any sixes will be instant death because my armour is not going to save. There's five That's five them. sixes. That is five scouts down. So no more scouts. What's next then, sir? Uh, I'm going to put the Bright Lancers yep. into the Stern Guard. Bright Lancers into the Stern Guard. Yeah. So first one's hit. Wounded. And I don't save because it's minus a four. I'm guessing you're putting both in there. Yeah, both of them. Yep, so hit. Uh, no, it's shifted. 
Oh, it moved, yes, yeah. so it needs a four. So, yeah, and it's not a one, so. And it's not a one, so we can't re roll. So yeah. I do lose one of these guys. Mm -hmm. Pop. In fact, because that one, the bolter, didn't look right when I did it. Oh well. Into your stern guard. So snipers are also targeting the sterns. Or do I try to kill a cannoness? She is the warlord. You know what? I'm going to try and kill a cannoness. He's going to go for the cannoness. Uh, two hits. Depending on what he rolls, it would be enough. Two wounds. Two up safe for cover. She loses a wound again. She's down to two. Last time I used a cannon S, she were hard as nails. This time around, she's just like having. I think her arm is still knackered from last time. <laughs> right. Uh, Strike scorpions. Yep. They're going to be firing in, so. No problem. So that's going to be four, four shots, because it's an assault two weapon on the other, on the egg shot. Re rolling ones. And with the rule for scorpions, it's plus one if you're in cover, isn't it, to hit? I think it's if you turn up from... Let's check. Right, yep, it is plus one to hit, so his twos will have hit. That's four hits on the sisters. Uh, wow! Ooh, ouch! Right, so one armour save a two, which is a save. Three armour saves of five, which is a fail. So I lose another three young ladies. So, the ladies have taken off the sergeant, because of course she was one of the closer ones, isn't it? Trying to deny him a charge here. Fusion pistol coming in though. Needing a two, we're rolling once. Needing Hit. a two. Oh, let's cut. Well. cut one. Yep, needs a six to save. Not saved. Who's another sister? They're not going to be able to do a faith. That much anyway. Right. So that's another sister down. That's a lot of sisters dead out of that squad. Have you got any more shooting, sir? I don't think I have, fella. I think that was a decent enough round for you there. Wipes the squad out of scouts. But it's discharge. So, I can't overwatch you, sir. You can declare charges into whatever you want. Well, what I'm going to charge with first is the Guardians into your jumpy doos. Open you fire! Because no, you no. can't see me. No, can't see him. So, go on then. I think that might be a fail, I'm not sure. Yeah, it will be. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be using another command point. Command point. <laughs> I'm guessing the one's going to get re-rolled there. That's, ah, that's, that's going to be better. That's right. going to be in. And you want to roll for your Banshees on and camera, the banshee, yeah. and then we'll roll them. We can roll them then. Uh, the Banshees, don't fluff. Don't fluff. What are we charging? Oh, they're going to be charging that unit and that unit. That unit, that unit, but we're not charging the jump dudes. No. Right, okay. Granger's is electing to fight with his banshees first. Wise idea. Which one are you going to go up with? So it's these three versus the minions first. Yep, well, uh. Needing threes. Going in. Yeah. All hit. Oh, oh, crap. Needing fours. Um, five wounds. Oh, that's bad against the dominion squad. Five saves. Needing five pluses because of the shield of faith. Nope. Oh, got one. So I lose four of them. That's. Bad. Four of them sisters have gone down. Then he's got 12 attacks plus the X Shark against the other sister of the battle unit. They are within nine. So it's still going to be a shield of favor of five plus. It's a bit better. There's a two there, Grange. Again, needing force. That would have done well against Space Marines, that pal. Five more, fella. Five more saves. Needing fives and sixes. I got. Three, so I'll lose two this time round. And, they finish and then the X shark. shark. Uh, two hits. And she needs threes to wound. One. No, so I'll lose another three from these guys. Granger's next unit is going to be his uh, Dire uh, his Dire Avengers, his uh, Guardians. So he's got nine, ten left, ten attacks, needing threes. Mm. And then he needs fives, but he's got re rolls. Two so far. The unit is doomed, so he gets to re roll it. Three. Three plus. Failed one. So I lose a marine. Right. Counter punch time. So five attacks from the avatar. In or twos? Yep. And he's within six inch of his. Is he within six inch of his own X shark? 
Oh he is within six inches of his own neck, Shark, who's ordering him to swing wide. <laughs> he needs twos. It's strength eight. Yeah. You're going to need twos. Oh my god! <laughs> Three ones! Now, there's only two sisters left, but the Shield of Faith on a six. No. <sighs> and that's both sisters dead. So he's done his consolidation, he's hiding. Not anything. <laughs> Strategic advance. I think you'll find. So I'm gonna do my attacks back. So I fought back. I managed to take down four. Yep, four. So the sisters managed to take down four of those guys, and the uh, intercessors, they managed to get nothing. <laughs> so they didn't do anything. But they're more of a shooter unit than they are anything else. So I think they'll probably just end up blazing away and falling back somewhere. Right. So it's going to be the end of Granger's turn two, since he went first, which means it's going to take it to Crimson Fist turn two. So far, Crimson Fist is still winning by one point to nil. Right, let's crack on. Oh, let's not crack on. Let's take some morale tests. So they've still got the sergeant left. They've got a morale test of eight. I lost four. Four, five, six, seven. They're okay. They morale test of eight. I lost three. So that's a one. So, yeah, my sisters hold firm in the face of Xeno Scum. All right, now, the castle has shimmied forward. The castle of Blue Armour Marines have gone in to help their sisters. Even though I've basically, I'll be honest, I kind of charged the sisters forward to try and see what would happen. Um, these guys are probably going to try and tag off those. So, I'm going to go with that first. And my those primaries have disengaged and have jumped over. Um, two left out of that squad. I'll be honest, I think some of these are going to kill lots of stuff. That is the initial plan. Whether or not that happens is going to be another question. Right, these guys then. These guys are in range of the Rangers. Minus one to hit and the Blood Angel dice is from a heavy bolter. That's minus two. So that's going to be... That freeze across the board. Oh my god! <laughs> Not one. Couldn't see for the trees. You're doing right well today, Stone Guard. I'm glad you're cheaper. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other unit of Stone Guard. Then let's see if they can reprise their brethren. Right, rapid fire on the guardians. I'll check if I'm within six. Actually, I am within. So, not bad. Needing freeze now. This is a minus two. Are you going to use your. No, not for oh. the sake of 10 Guardians. Are you sure? Yeah. It's two command points, though, isn't it? It's I think. two command points, yeah. yeah. How many you got left? Uh, six. That's up to you, mate. Um, I'll let you go because I'm supposed to do it before I roll no, to no, hit. No, 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 no. No. Now, they're minus two. So they'll punch straight through, so yeah. it's going to be six down, and everything else failed to hit. That's six gone. So that's six gone. They're not going to be within that luscious 12 inch bubble anymore. No. Hmm. How many's left? Four. Right, Primaris Marines are going to open fire. In fact, he can't see. So that's going to be. He'll fire at the Banshees. I'll do that now. Uh, re rolling ones. Still a one. And so one wound on the Banshees, plus one, minus one. Saved. Saved. And then eight shots on the rest of the Guardians, which are now in cover. Re rolling ones. Rolling ones. Only four. Not getting what I'm wanting on that. Granges and two saves. Hmm. So the Guardians are still alive. I would have thought they may have been dead by now, but never mind. I might have to waste more firepower into them. Alright, I've opened fire with some of my little guys down here. Managed to take out a couple more of the Banshees. Uh, I'm going to fire the Inferno Pistol from the Cannoness. She's going to fire into the Banshees as well. Twos and then twos. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah. D6. 
do I want to charge the banshees? That is the thing, because if I'm out in the open, I might get hurt. I do kind of want to charge the banshees. Right, let's go for the Centurion Devastators. The Laz Cannons are going to fire at the closest Viper down there. The Rockets are going to fire... I always... I love splitting fire, it's great. Rockets are going to fire into the Wave Serpent. I know that because they're only D3 damage, but I know we're going to be minus in one. And then the Heavy Bolters are going to fire, because we've already checked ranged, into the um, bikes. So, Rockets first. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five... You all in once. Needing freeze. You all in once. That's going to be five. These are minus two. All of them gone through. Ooh. Right, okay. So, is a wave serpent with a serpent shield still active? So, that's a one, that's a one, that's a one. So, that's three. Four, five, six, seven. That's including his serpent shield. So seven wounds on the way of serpent, and his hollow field can attempt to stop him. There it's down. Lost five. Five gone. So five wounds down. That would mean that that is still operational at full capacity. Two last cannons. Both hit. Needing what's toughness of them? Five. Needing freeze till further notice. Yep, both gone through. It's a minus of three, so I believe you need sixes. I'll do it, but I'll... Uh, mm. Right, so two fails. Sense. Yep. <laughs> and then 2d6 damage. I rolled that one more part of it. Uh, nine, which I think could take down a main battle tank. So does it explode? No. Does it not? Oh, I'm saying no with a lot of confidence, <laughs> but I'll, all I'll do is I'll look at this book over here. Well, roll a d6. If it's a six, yes. Yeah. <laughs> We'll then look I'll, I'll look anyway, and then... Cause right, there we go. Every day is a and then, heavy bolters. Right, so, these guys are now going to open fire. I've done my heavy bolters. I've killed two and wounded one, so they don't look too bad. These guys are going to open fire upon the Dire Avengers. And because there is more, I need twos to hit. So I failed one. Needing threes. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Eight needing fours. Plus one for cover, minus one for the bolters. One, two, three, four, five, five. gone. So that's, is that everyone except the extra? Item? No, no, there's a couple left. All right. Right, so I'm spending a command point on these for the veteran intercessors to make them rapid fire two. That's this many shots, because it's four shots apiece. I feel like guard. First rank fire, second rank fire. Into... Yeah, them. And I need freeze re rolling ones. There we go. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to make Grange cry. No, 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 no. I think with the discussion we've just had off camera oh, pretty much yeah. sums up the tactical freeze. situation of it, isn't it? Re rolling ones. No, no, I'm not within six of my lieutenant. I need freeze. That's a lot. That's three, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight wounds. Any minuses? No, well, minus one, plus one. So you're on 50 50. Well, actually, yeah, you're on fours. Because your X tracks are not separate anymore, are they? Oh. Also, Granger's bad dice rolls are not helping. Three. That's four gone. So that is. All of them, All and of the them, X-Shark on one And the X-Shark one wound, so he's still not dead. But I think we may be do performing a tactical withdrawal. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, if, unless I can charge her, because she is within that wall. Right, it is going to go to my assault phase, so I'm just going to roll for them and see how far they get, because I'm going to try and charge the Banshee, because I don't like Banshees. And I get a lovely double one! I'm not command pointing. Go on, Fran. They Fran. can just sit there. I'm not command pointing. Go on, Fran. I'm not command pointing. Fran, no. could command point it, Fran. No. Nope. Fran, no. Fran, come on. You point. can take a morale test with him. <laughs> Which, actual fact, we have got to the morale stage now. So, what is the morale on her? Is it auto pass? Yeah, I'm yeah. auto pass her. So, and what about the guardians? Uh, they're going to run away. How many did we lose? A lot. <laughs> well, how many is left? Uh, two. Two. You so, you had eight. ten, so I killed eight. 
Their so leadership is seven. seven, so one's gone already, and if you roll a one, it's gone as well. Yeah, so so, yeah. Yeah. so, so they're going to go. So they've, they've, they've really, they've, they've really, really didn't off. want to be around there. They've really run off. No, they didn't. It's a nice little thing here. Right, so the Banshee. Uh, bikes. Should bikes be, lost two. two. Should be fine. No, no, because the leadership's seven. seven. Yeah. So three. We've got three. And the uh, these are within actually tw within twelve. Bikes are within twelve as so well, we'll, so they would be fine. Right then, sir. So. Gonna be going now into turn three. This is becoming very bloody. Crimson Fist. Not for you, it isn't. <laughs> well, I'm saying the amount of Xenos that are being killed is insane. And I think a combination of line of sight blocking terrain and the wrong decision of going first there. Oh, no, is, I didn't make uh, that decision from. No, the, the, the dice gods. The dice gods, the decision, dice gods don't like then, you, though. We've, then... we've seen what the dice gods have done to you today. Mm. They do not like you, good sir. Right. Let's get into turn three. Okay, psychic phase. Uh, mil get mills. <laughs> Been talking about mills. That's what it is. So these guys have shifted forward. They've ran forward to try and stop uh, me from getting any areas. She's moved forward. I'm guessing we're just going to stand there. We're not actually going to charge mm. these guys. I unless know. you are. I don't I'm, know. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, in. All of his characters have suddenly gone, yeah, I'm going to get within three inch of our objective. Because if they're within three inch of our at the beginning of his turn, good luck. then <laughs> they get points. Same with mine. So I'm hoping that my cannoness can survive whatever he's going to chuck at her. But I don't think that she will. The intercessors are closer to that Psyche, so at the moment any smiting stuff is going to go that way and that vehicle has stood still, but it is on full profile. I'm guessing it's going to try and just slam some marines. Right then, sir. Oh yeah, and his bikes have stopped. They're not Oh, I, I forgot. I thought you killed oh. them all. No, no, no. I thought you uh, killed right. them all. Okay, correction. His bikes have moved here. Yes. Right. Right then, sir. So, what are you going to do? Right, first psychic power. Yep. I'm going to doom that unit there. Doom this one. That's a success. Night. Can't stop it. And Next then, psychic power. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna guide this tank. No problem. And I'm going well, to re-roll. Yeah, he can use his specials. No, he hasn't done no, it. He hasn't done it, but he hasn't suffered the pebbles neither. It's not bad for the old art, to be honest. Right then, sir, so let's move to your shooting phase. Let's start with the bikes. Right, so Granger's starting with the bikes. They're opening fire at these intercessors. These intercessors yeah, there. No yeah. problem. Eight shots. There's no attack nearby. No, nope, he's out of the way. He's, he's going to be at more than yeah. six inches there, unfortunately. So we'll get rid of those. And then, close to wound. We re rolls. Re rolling. Re -rolling. So two so far. Free. Free saves, needing freeze. Save them all. Yay! <laughs> um then scorpions. Yeah. They're gonna do exactly the same. Same thing. Four shots. All hit. Three wounds reroll you fail. Right, so that's gonna be in a, a, a six plus three normals. So a six will be in red. So six in red and three normals have saved them all. <laughs> right. Wow. Uh, shuriken catapult from... And a, a grenade, I'm guessing. And a grenade. So plasma grenade. Six. So six. I think you're actually within an inch there. We'll double check that. So first. Yeah, units within six, so you get to be all his ones. Yeah, there's more. There's only one one there. Right, there we go. There we go. Now we got and, one. Uh, yeah, so three needing fours and he gets to re-roll. So that's doomed. So three dice needing four plus, and what about your other two guys? And the uh, normal shurikens. We roll, we roll one. once, yep. Ah, there we go. And then, no. And then you roll and that cost doom. Oh, yeah. And we've wounded you this time. Right, so a normal wound. Minus ones are in red. Oh dear! A Primaris Marine goes down. Does he open fire before he gets killed? No, he doesn't. So just there we go. Into the jumpies. Fusion gun into the jumps. Sorry about that. Reroll. Because you were within six inches yourself. 
And oh Lord. my god! Sweet lord, I'm not Avatar. this game. Avatar's gone yeah. into the things. Fact, just, is Hits. It? It's wounded. Yes, it has, because it's strength of eight, so it needs a three. Um, minus what's the four. minus? Minus four. I'm in cover, so I do need a six. No. So it's 2d6. Pick, pick the highest. Pick. Two. Thank well, Christ! Thank yeah. Christ we did that and we had that! Yeah, there we go. So that kills another one of those guys. The jumpy dudes are down to one. Right, this... Yep. We're going to fire at them. Right, no problem. Which one first? Uh, two Bright Lancers first. Two Bright Lancers first. One hit. One hit. It's a wound. Wounded. It's a minus a four. I don't get a save. D6 damage. It's a two, so it does kill one. So, him at the back, there's only a sergeant and him within six, so he's dead. He does get to shoot before he dies, so I'll fire at the Banshee. Two shots. We all ones. Oh, sorry. Cocked. Two hits. Oh, Christ. Taking stuff everywhere. And then freeze to wound. Two wounds on the Banshee. I, and she goes down. I really don't like Space Marines. They can <laughs> just go do one with the stupid banners of shitty stuff and getting better when they get shot in the face with a last cannon. <laughs> stupid Marines! <laughs> only only recently has my Marines started to cause Grange some problems. I'm going back to my Imperial Guard. Where, yeah. where is my artillery? <laughs> yeah. Where is my yeah. artillery? Would have been a different game if he would have had his artillery. Although, I'll be honest, if he had his artillery... And now we're getting cover saves. I don't, well, well, we'll see. We'll go see. On I'm so, going to get my artillery. Yes, he's going to go and get his <laughs> artillery. He was literally walking out the room. Man. Uh, What's right. next? Uh, pub? Pub. <laughs> Maybe. Snipers. Yeah. We're going to fire into the stern guard. All right, okay. We've hit we you once. really well. We've hit you once. Look, look I couldn't wound you, so. Have we you have wounded, you? you've wounded. I've saved yeah. on six. Um, um, a flurry of good saving throws from me there. Really good flurry of saving throws from me there, because technically he should have taken some out. And he hasn't. He's taken down one, two Primaris Marines. <sighs> Did you shoot a cannon? Yes. Yeah, nothing occurred. Okay. Right. Charging. I am. Okay. I'm going to overwatch. I know you are. I'm going to have to put my avatar into your cannoness. She misses. Yeah, it's well in. Oh. Waiting round. Oh dear. Um, Dire Avengers going into your Primaris. They ran. Yes, they did. Striking Scorpions going into, going. into the Primaris Marines. Yep. Go on, I'll let you roll your dice. And then we'll do overwatch off camera. Seven, I do think that... I'm not sure. So he's managed to make a charge in here. Managed. Thank and you. he's going to do a... So basically, because it, it's yeah, closest it to closest, so he basically have to do that. Yeah. He's got his bandy blasters first. No six. Nothing. Um, his egg shark's going to have three attacks, I believe. Yep. One hit. Oop. It wounds. Wounds. It's a minus of three. I don't say it's D3 damage. One. So he's wounded one. And then his other lads, which are two attacks apiece, yep. Yeah. Need threes, and then he needs fours. Is that three? Three ones. Failed two, so one of them Primaris Marines goes down. I'll check, and then one's wounded, so I'll check if that's. So the Primaris Marine goes down with no fanfare. Uh, he did get to attack, oh, actually. Yeah, he did get to attack. I forgot to roll that, I just rolled his attack. But, <laughs> it just but comes he, naturally for Adam. It does, it does. I'm, so, I'm so used to, yeah. So yeah, he did get to attack back. Um, right, okay. Avatar versus Cannon S. Five attacks. He's within six inch of the attack. Which is a good job, because I rolled two ones. Oh, Christ. He needs twos. That's four. These are going to cause 2d6, pick the highest damage, I need 4s. 2 command points left. <sighs> There's no point re-rolling. She's got 2 wounds. And she's dead. 
So the avatar could barrel up this way and get that unit in combat because it'd be within an inch if you wanted to. No, I'm going to leave him where exactly where he is. Now, Grange does have a warlord kill. Oh, we won one. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a short lived thing. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're going to be going into. Well, I've got my attacks back now, actually. Yes, yeah. Closest, 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 closest. So these guys attacking back. I think I may have moved myself out of. I didn't roll any ones anyway, so. Well, I did, but don't matter. I think I pulled myself out of range on that there. Freeze. Two wounds. That's not very good. Yeah, it killed two. Oh, no, it didn't. It didn't. They're, uh, saved, mate. Nine saved. Wounds. Oh, dear. That's not a good thing. See how I got all those extra attacks as well. Right. So the cannoness is dead. The warlord has gone down after leading from the front because she is an idiot. But if you ever read. Um, yeah, you ever read. Is it Cyphus Kane? Yeah. Um, read those books and you'll find out that he likes to refer to Rhesus as a battle as uh, God botherers. So, <laughs> so, right, um, I do think it's a test on them though. Oh no, I've lost two. Mm. No, I lost one this turn, Only so one. I lost two in yeah. total. Right, so we're going to be going into Crimson Fists turn three. So my movement is mainly everyone trying to converge through this building. I've got to try and stop these guys from using that grot as a runner. Uh, which I'll be honest with you, if I do that, I'm going to have to try and shimmy forward because, as I've told Grange, the apothecary and him and my other two runners, I was basically trying to make sure that he wasn't going to try and pagger my lieutenant and captain. So I did declare those and I'm not within. So even though I am losing... He to draw. No, I'm even though at the moment we're drawing and he's losing more men, I've got to be careful because if it, well, let, let's have a comment on this. So comment on the on the video if you think that if it's if it's not sudden death on these missions. So if I kill everything, does the game suddenly end at that point, or do you keep playing and play the turns until the game actually is officially ended? So I'll leave your comments down below on that because. We're going to be playing it as if I table him, that's game over. Which I think is probably the better way to play it, but yeah, we'll it, see. Yeah, it leads to more like, a, um, not aggressive, but forward-thinking gameplay. Yeah, as to rather than just wiping somebody, somebody out. out. And that's your, your, your tactic so, at the table. So, this guy, opening fire on the fast here. I need to try and kill him. Jinx. I need freeze. Well, you kind of jinxed, because you got three of the symbols. Uh, toughness is four. Two wounds. No negative modifiers because he's got his finger arm. He's lost a wound. Because of this unit here, I'm having trouble trying to target the characters. So, the sisters are going to open fire. Uh, I did manage to bring one of those back. So that's going to be three storm bolters. And two normal bolters. That's a lot of attacks. Cannoness is no longer alive, so I can't re roll my ones. And it's going to be freeze. Get one, two, three, four, five, six saves on. on these guys here. They're too close for me to be able to claim cover, so it's just going to be six normal saves of four plus. Yeah. They go down. They're, they're they go down. So the storm bolt has chew up the two remaining guys there. Right, so that's going to open up some more of these characters. I'm probably going to have to try and pack these and get rid of them. I am going to fire three bolt pistols because I might as well. Rerolling ones, yep. Three hits. Right, so two wounds. Rerolling none up. Can't reroll the ones. Saved. Saved. As if that were a waste of time. So these guys have got a faith point on them, leaving me down to three. I've not been using them enough. Uh, they're going to get plus one to hit. So the flame is auto hitting twice. And this is for the rest. So this is for the bolters and a crack grenade from one of them. Sergeant. Needing twos. Don't know what that was. That was cocked. Ah, yeah, there you go. Four. Chuck it into Granger's stuff. Right, toughness of him is. I think it's a six. I think it's I'm going to go with six to start Let's go for with. six to start with. Right, okay, that's not good. Right, so three normal armor saves. None get through, and then one with a minus one. 
Ah, uh, now he gets through. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't want to charge him and kill him in combat because he could do other type of surgeons. Or would I? Yes, of course you would. Yes, I would. <laughs> so I've got to shoot him. Right, I think it's command point time. Putting me down to one on these guys. I could fire four, needing threes, re-rolling ones. That's a two, 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 and two. Mm, not bad. Needing fives. That's a cock. There we go. That's one, two, four. Four saves of it's plus it's minus one because it's uh, intercessor bolters. The three ones have got through. He ignores them on a five. Molten body. Two. two. So how many ones has he got left? That takes him down to six. Oh, right. He's got eight. Eight. I thought he had six. That's that's even worse than what I thought. Right, let's get some bolter death on him again. Right, I've just opened fire with my lieutenant and my. Uh, Guy with the banner, and they've done nothing. He's got yeah, one no, wound, one wound. Wound. He's down to five left. These guys are going to open up now, so the heavy bolter, I did move, is in the red. And I'm re-rolling ones. That's one. So the red needs fours, everyone else needs threes. It's not too bad. Come here, dice. This one, mate. There you go. Oh, thank you. Need fives and sixes on them all. Right, and I am within six of my lieutenant, so I do get a re-roll. That didn't do anything. So two of those is a minus of two, meaning that he's going to need his five, and then that's a minus of one, so he's going to need his four. So on the fives. One goes through. Molten body. No. And on the four. On the four. Yeah. So, so there's another wound. I'm, I don't want to put these weapons into him. I want to save these weapons for other things. Like, you know, these guys. Um, but I'm going to have to fire on them now. What am I doing? I just I just pagged him with that much stuff and he's just not dying. Well, pag it with him with more uh, stuff. No, because I want, I want that to die to last kind of death. I want those to die to every bolters and then I want that to die to... I mean, if I charge in... He's just going to resurrect. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I've only got five attacks a turn. I think the most I can kill is five sisters of battle. Lock him up. <laughs> sisters of battle. Yeah, but I don't want to chuck sisters of battle in there. I want to chuck marines. Um, Either Although it would be quite funny to chuck sisters of battle in there. Right, okay. These guys, then. I'm going to put two last cannons into him. I didn't want to, but That's I'm going to. Rockets are going into there, heavy bolters are going into the bikes. Right, in all the excitement, Grange has actually just pointed out that those are closer. <laughs> so they shouldn't have been able to fire at him, but as Grange completely forgot, then yeah, yeah play, unfortunately play we've got to play on. But now it doesn't mean my last cannon can't pagger him. So last cannon's going to go against that, heavy bolters, and then rockets. Last cannon's first, two shots, needing threes, re rolling. Well, we're rolling ones at least, for God's sake, Paul. One hit. It's not going to be able to kill him, I think. Freeze. Bounces off. 3D3 shots with the rockets. That's three, six, seven, eight. Right. Freeze to hit. We're rolling ones. This is against his, uh, his tank. Freeze to wound. We're rolling ones. So that's going to be five. Minus of two. Three's got through. Minus one from damage on these. So in actual fact, it's only three points of damage. And then spirit stones to... Uh, yeah. Yeah, all three got through. All three got through, which will take him down a single bracket, but not enough to kill him. No, no, no. In because... actual fact, they haven't... What's that? The, oh, Yemlock, he yeah, doubles it. Because I take use the Iridan trait. Yep, the Iridan tanks. trait for his vehicles, because he's evil. Yeah. Right, okay. So heavy bolters then into these two. Are you rolling ones? That's a real good thing. Twos. Needing threes. 
We roll in once. I think there's gonna be some dead bikers here, mate. That's four, two, four, six, eight. It's three, four, five. <laughs> so far he's saving. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to throw any three, more? Three, six, seven, one more dice. That didn't save. So he's got a wound anyway. So that blows him away and then that just wounds him. So my Centurion Devastators, the unit that normally wipes multiple units off the face of the planet, just went no to him. Not really to him. And yeah, all right, maybe to him. <laughs> it, oh dear. It's going to have to be these guys and it's going to try and finish him off. So the Stern Guard are going to have to fire into the last bike. I'm hoping they can take him down. Oh, that's a lot of lot of hits. Needing fours. Right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six with a minus of two. Yeah, that's yeah, the Yeah, he's, he's gone down now. He's gone down. There you go, sir. There you go. Right. So, Avatar, down four wounds. Do I charge him? Yes. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Act of faith. To see if they can fight twice in the combat phase. Need a five. I'm plusing one because I've got a banner. I got it. So the sisters are going to be able to fight twice, so I'm going to be able to select them twice. So in a charge, meaning that they're going to be able to fight twice before the avatar does. Sisters are going in. Yep. Sisters from here are going in as well. Yep. And Overwatch. That's what. Yep. Oh, God. No. Oh, any command points? Or is no. It three points no, I'm keeping that three just in case. <laughs> just in case. Oh, right. me. Right, okay, let's get these in. Right. They're in. They're in. We've just done the Mandy Blasters, gotten off him. He's gone in as well, uh, and then been heroically intervened by the Autap. And um, you know, unfortunately, the Granger did cause a wound upon that sergeant. He's not going to interrupt me because he's got three points left to resurrect his avatar. Hmm, right. So these sisters go in against the Scorpions first, needing fours. They've got a plus one strength because they are the Order of the Bloody Rose. Meaning they need threes. Threes? To wound? Yeah, I'm strength four. You're talking six. Oh, 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 so you're in Scorpions. the Scorpions. I thought you were attacking the Avatar. No. Alright. Yep. Three. One, two, three. three. One, two, three. So three. one of the Scorpions go down. Now, just so people are aware, which we forgot to record, I did actually cast, with a faith point, their ability to strike twice. So I'm going to count up the attacks. So the sisters are going in, and because they've got the faith point, they're attacking twice, we're doing it all together. Oh, Christ. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I need fours. Ooh. Needing fives, because I'm strength four. One, two, three. Four wounds so far. And then the sister gets six attacks. Order up bloody rolls, gives me an extra attack. So she gets a strike twice, she gets six attacks. Needing fours. That's not too bad. She needs fives and it'll be a minus of three. She gets one. So one minus three. And then four. Right, so the four, normal. Nothing gets through. The one minus three, this is not good for me. Gets through on a five up. He knows oh. it! Oh. And I've got some dead sisters coming here. Uh, I get to now choose, so of course these guys are going to fight those before Scorpions get a chance to fight me. Right, freeze to hit re-rolling ones. Freeze to wound the re-rolling ones. Six, eight saves on, so he needs three fails at least to kill the squad. And it's on a three plus. Yeah, that'll do it. One, two, three. Any command points, Grange? No. No? <laughs> so they go down. There you go. And I'll consolidate. So I've consolidated forward. I know I'm moving out my bubbles, but I need to try and... <sighs> yeah. Uh, right, and last but not least. Sorry, I shouldn't have gone with that. Should have gone with Sergeant first, but it doesn't matter. Because it means I still would have attacked first over there anyway. Nothing! He did rate well. 
One command point left and only two faith points to go. Yeah, so Grange is picking Autark, swooping Orc Autark, because he actually inter heroically intervened. Needs twos, and only he gets a reroll. Because of himself. And he needs... Fives. Fives. Just the one. Just the one, but it's enough. It's a minus of three. Actually, they've got Mandy Blasters as well, haven't they? Oh, yeah. He's dead. So, he dies. Gone. Great. <laughs> And then Avatar! Shield of Faith, come on, come on, sisters. He rolls his ones. Twos. All hit. Is that five? All five. Saved two, so I've lost three sisters. Oh man, three of them gone down. Right, so it'll enter the morale phase. I'll use a faith point, two plus, to auto pass. So I've got one faith point left. Right, so we're getting to the end of my turn. At the beginning of Granger's turn, he would score three victory points, meaning that he will be free up on me. So it's getting dangerous for me to try and kill him because I need to get guys. Because my cannoness, yes, she was there, but she didn't survive. Whereas he survived. Which is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so three of the toughest hombres. Basically, they're like some from the last stand of OK Corral, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so we're going to be going into... It's going to be going into Grange's turn four. Right, OK. Turn four in Grange. Let's see what you can do. Right, so this guy, Brightlands, where's he going? Uh, can he see around that corner? To the yeah, you can see the Primaris. I'll put him to Primaris and then the uh, Shuriken Catapults will go into the Sisters, Sisters of Battle. Yeah, yeah. So we'll start with the Shuriken Catapults. No problem. He's within six. six. So we roll those ones. And he still doesn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> Brightlands. Brightlands. That hits. does hit. That'll punch straight through, it's a two. I yep. can't stop it because I'm not in cover with this unit, so... And it's a three, so it will lose a Marine. So I am starting to slowly but surely lose my Primaris Marines to some heavy weapons fire here. I think that could be all of my shooting. I think it is. Any charges? Um, No. No, no charges at all, no problem. Right then, sir. Um, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, no, maybe. Turn the camera off, I'm thinking. So in the end, Grange decided to charge in, and I didn't score anything against him. Okay. Right then, sir. So. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, guys, you figure out, I don't tend to charge my Vipers into combat that often. No. Uh, looking through the boat, looking through the boat. Right, so we checked, Viper gets one attack. It has not hit. And then you get to choose a unit, Avatar. Um, yes, I'll go for the Avatar. Okay. Hits with everything. Two's to wound the sisters. Oh my god, wounds two. Kills two. Okay. So his sisters get to fight back. One attack from the normal, and she doesn't do anything. And two attacks from the power sword, and she doesn't do anything. Now, they've lost two, they've got a leadership of eight, so in actual fact, they are not going to need a break test. Now, I've just fought back with these two units, saved every single one. So it's not looking great here, to be honest. Hmm. And I need to try and kill that, to try and make sure that the Avatar and the rest of the characters are going to be the closest unit. This is going to be an interesting turn for me. What turn are we on? Uh, your turn turn four. four. Turn four. Right. So let's get into Crimson Fist turn four. Right. Basically, my mass of Marines have gone in there. This might be the greatest, stupidest thing I've ever done, or it could be the greatest thing I've ever seen. 
Um, it's harking me back to one of the first games we ever had where it was a single objective in the middle and one elder character managed to wade his way through loads of guardsmen. If you've ever seen that, I'll try and put it up up here. Uh, weighed himself through loads and loads of guardsmen and just went, yeah, have it, <laughs> and took the objective by himself. I need to get rid of this. That needs to die so that they can shoot that autark. Jink. And then, of course, these guys can have a go down here. But I also need to get rid of that, otherwise return fire might kill these, and these are the best chance I have of killing a lot of this stuff down here. So these guys are going to open fire. They're going to fire the rockets and the heavy bolters into that. And the last cannon, the twin Laz, is going to go into that. You wanted to do any command or anything of that nature? No, no, no. no Avatar no. resurrected. Right, twin last cannons. Two hits. Only one wound. He does get a plus one for cover because he's in terrain and he's partially obscured. One dice. He's not saved it. I've got a four. Minus one. Makes it a three. He's got his spirit stones. He saves one of them. Plus me three, left on right. three. So 3d3 three shots now into that. That's three, four, five. Needing freeze. Needing freeze again. That's two. It's not going to be enough to kill it, but hopefully the heavy bolters might. Both of them have gone through. 2d3 damage. That's three points of damage. Oh, I think it's got about five or six, has it? Well, either or, heavy bolters are going in. What's his toughness again, sorry? Uh, five. Five. So I need fours, and these will have a minus of one. Six ones. Another three with a minus one. So you've got three ones left, and another three. Oh, saved, yeah, them all. saved them all. Crack grenade from my captain. He's the only one character that's not ran. Hits. Needs a three. Wounds. Minus one. Ah! Ah! Oh. Did it tease you with the sight of a two? It's going to have to be. One crack grenade, two bolters, and a heavy bolter. Alright, okay. Crack grenade first. Hits. Wounds. Minus one. There we go. D3 damage, down to one left. Two bolters in rapid fire range. Two hits. Needing fives. Not one. Heavy bolter. Oh, Christ. All hit. I needed that to wound. Swap some dice. One wound with a minus of one. 50 50. No! Anything else to fire with that one Viper from? Anything else? Pain from. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea they were this survivable. Not if. I would have charged them in more often. Okay, so I've got my two bolters going into the avatar. Two hits. No wounds. I've got this lot, which are the avatar is closer. This lot is going into the avatar. One, two. Four and a heavy bolter. Be rolling ones. There we are. My lieutenant. Oh, that's fours on that one. My lieutenant is near. Needing fives. Oh, hello. One, two, three, four. Four saves. He's got four wounds left. He's a minus two, so he needs fives. Damn you, Grange. And then fives again. Oh. No, so it's down to two wounds remaining. It's crunch time. Do I charge him? Yes. He's gonna have to. Yes. This guy is gonna go against him. Watch this watch him get Bright Lance start a submission. Bright Lance. Oh, oh thank god. Shrokin cannon, yeah. catapults. One. Walter wound. No. Nothing. Captain going into that thing. Four. He's into that thing. Right, okay. The Stern Guard and the Primaris Marines are going into the Avatar. Right. Stern Guard first. Stern Guard first. No. no. 
stone guard. And then Primaris Marines. Yep, they're in. So, so far, everybody's in. And stone guard. So charging wise, he's gone in. They've all of them's gone into the avatar. He, he failed to get over there. Typical. So that does mean that at the end of my turn, Grange is going to get at least an additional two points and possibly resurrect the avatar as well. Yeah. So I've got a funny feeling I'm not going to win this game. I don't know why, but, but I feel like I've lost it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Power fist from the sergeant. Needing fours. Rerolling ones. Yep, I'm going to re -roll, use my last command point to re-roll this two. No. Needing threes. Two of them. So you need your runnable saves of five. No. No. Damage is... Three. And I don't know mm -hmm. what that is. Is that cock? That's very cock, mate. Three, four, five. Oh, it's the kid was shooting. He's gone down. Does the avatar explode? Uh, no. No. You know what? I'm saying no, but I have no yeah. knowledge yeah, of this. No knowledge at all. Let me just check. I don't think he'll explode. Oh, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Right, okay, so what does this resurgence do then, sir? Right, uh, here's the strategy in the fight phase. We're in the fight phase. If an avatar of Kane is slain, do not remove the avatar of Kane as a casualty instead roll a d6 after the enemy unit that slew it has removed as a result of all of its attacks. The avatar of Kane remains on the battlefield with that many wounds. Right, so. I've still got my attacks from the Primaris Marines. Yes. Then. So. Uh, four, four. Four wounds. So now I'm going to go with the Primaris Marines. They've got four attacks for the Sergeant and three attacks. So they need freeze re rolling ones. And then I need five re rolling ones. Three. Chuffing three. Any modifiers? No modifiers. Three up. One's got through. Five up to stop. Five up to stop. Yeah. Damn you, Grange. Damn you. How dare you. Sergeant, anyway. Yeah. Four attacks. Sorry, Captain. Against that uh, thing. Twos to hit re rolling ones. Let's hit them all. And he needs fives to wound it. One wound, no modifier. Oh dear. Six to call it. Yeah. Ooh. He's gone, he's gone, and six to explode. No. Oh. Hey, well done, Captain. Woohoo. And towards the nearest enemy. There we go, that side. <laughs> there you go, sir. Hey, right. Right. <sighs> right then, shall I attack got back? Well, yeah, you've got your attacks back. Okay, which unit have the power fisty guy in? The stone guard. Oh, I'm gonna hit them. Okay. One because I'm in yeah. my attack. All, all hit. hit. On a two. Oh, so you killed them all. Yep. Right, are you ready? Four normal blokes. Yep. All get to fight back. I wonder if one of them is gonna have a Sergeant. Fight also gets to fight back. Mother Hubbard. Now it's only one attack apiece. Oh, right. Because that's what it says. It yep. says one attack. So four normal attacks. Needing. Be rolling ones. Needing fives. Be rolling ones. Oh. Nothing. One attack with a power fist. I can't kill you. Shame. Hits. It wounds. Five up. No. Nope. D3. One oh. wound. Oh, and can I get rid of that? No. No, so it reduces three. him down to three. Boat, my stern guard's gone. Right, we're getting to the grind. We're going to be going into his turn five. And he's still got three characters within three inch of that. So that's going to be another three points. That's so going to take Grange six points ahead of me. I'm going to have to do some murdering. If I don't do some murdering, I'm not going to be able to win this game. Let's go into Grange turn five. Right, these lads here have ran a lot. Grange has stood still because he's surmised. As I tried to move my guy forward to try and get some pointage back, Grange has 
you know, very, I thought I was going to kill this tank and I needed to be able to hurt myself forward to stop him from getting lots and lots of points. He's going to target the apothecary, the apothecary is the closest target, so he's going to target it with well, first psychic of all, powers. Psychic powers. So, so, first of all, I'm going to doom him. Doom. A double one says How no. How many times have I? I'm going to use his helmet as thingy, yep. with it, thingy Bobby. And still he still no. fails. In that case, then, I'm going to guide this tank. Okay. 2d6, Grinch. Yeah, uh, that's one of them. I'm doing there it for suspense. <laughs> so that that's tank like, is now gidded. The tank is gidded. And what you're shooting with? Uh, the tank! The tank! Yeah. And the tank, the gidded tank will fire everything, everything. into him. Go on then, sir. Oh, right on oh yeah, his yeah. profile's going to be a little, little bit knackered. knackered. So he's on the middle bracket. He needs fours. 50-50 with rerolls. He's failed both. I am gid gidded. Yeah. He's failed both. Okay, that's Whoa. Shuriken can uh, catapult. Yeah. He's gidded. Three hits. Three yeah, wounds, he's got three no. wounds, but no negative modifiers. He saves them all. Ah, I'm going to find me certain shield into you. Ooh, that's naughty. That two plus to hit, Grange. Get a one. No command um, points, no command points. Can, am I, can I re-roll that given that I'm next to my auto? Oh, this is a good point, let's check. We... Right, we've just checked, and there's no mention of it being a to hit roll, it's just on a 2 plus, the nearest unit takes X amount of, of mortal wounds. So if you had command points, yeah, not a problem, but it's a guide, and possibly, you know, is is other about being within 6. So we're going to let it, you decide again. It doesn't say to hit, it just says on a 2 plus. The nearest enemy unit takes D3 mortal wounds, so it's not actually, it doesn't stay to have some form of keyword saying it is a to hit roll. So Grange has decided because it doesn't say that, that he cannot re roll it. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to go that way. So there's no re roll there. So the Wave Serpent whiffed all of its attacks against the Apothecary. Who are you going with next, Grange? Uh, fusion Gun. Yep. Hit. That's a hit. That has wounded. I am in cover, so I need a six. Ah, now you know I'm not within three inch. No. Nope. So it's one dice. Yep. How many wounds does he have? Five. Oh dear. It's four. Oh! <laughs> Got one wound left. This is gonna work. Go on then, sir. Right, I'm gonna fire my shuriken. Hi. Catapults into you. Needing twos, we're rolling ones. I see you're on a bike, he's a bit of a badass. One wound, which is a minus of three. I am in cover. I need a five. No! Oh, I got it! <laughs> oh, dear me. This is quite funny. <laughs> I right. think that's all my shooting. I think it is all your shooting, mate. It's going to be assault phase. What are you doing? I'm going to charge in with my attack. I'm going to charge in with your attack. Yeah. I'm going to chuck a crack grenade at your attack. You've hit I'm, that. I'm not. Not. I did actually think. Am I? Had. Yes, I am. I am within six of my captain. No. Uh, are we going in? Double one. Oh, it's yeah, a nine. He's definitely in. Right, so we'll go with the... Mandy oh, Blaster. Oh, Mandy Blaster, of course. No. No. So... Here's all your ones. All hit. Well, it's just a normal power sword. Just a normal it? power sword, so I'm needing Five. fives. Just the one. Oh, my God! This is on a six to keep him alive. No! no! So the apothecary goes down, meaning the important data he's carrying, he cannot upload. Now, even if I kill everybody here, including the warlord, I'm only going to get one per turn. And that doesn't start until the beginning of turn six. So six, seven, I get two points. Grange is already on six. Even if I kill his warlord, that's three points to make up. And he's six ahead. 
Grange has won the game. I don't know why, but I feel like I've lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genuinely yeah, yeah. feel yeah, like I've yeah, lost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's have a handshake. Hold on. Oh, we're going to pull it away then. <laughs> Ragnar right. table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bastard. Right, thank you very much for watching, guys. That was another intense game. I do like Eldar versus Marines. I think it sometimes can be quite balanced. And uh, the Avatar Resurgence, I needed to make sure you spent those points. <laughs> <sighs> Man, Jesus. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button. If you want to see more of this intense behaviour, and I'm also going to have exclusive battle reports on rootstem.co.uk. That's £3 a month or $4. And uh, that's basically you just go onto the website to sign up to that. All right then, guys. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. That's Rootstem Multimedia. And I've got some crazy t-shirts at Teespring. Just type in the search bar Rootstem Apparel. Right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you next time.